Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It is a general reading guys, this may or may not resonate with you. So if you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Okay, let's do this. Okay, and the overall energy, four of pentacles in reverse. Is there something you're releasing, Sag? Something that you've been holding on to very tight? Looks like you're ready to release something, okay? Something that you've been very possessive about. You know, just one second. Let me just put on the headphones. I'm not very sure if you guys can hear me clearly. Just give me a second, please. That's better, I guess. Okay. So I feel that you're releasing someone, okay? And what I see here with the temperance and the four of pentacles in reverse here, there's something that you've been having sleepless nights about, okay? Something that you've been stressing about. But it looks like you're releasing someone or something or a situation that has been, that you've been in a lot of remorse about or some kind of regret. But I'm feeling more like you're stressing about something, okay? Thinking about something over and over again. You're in panic mode right now. Um... But with the temperance here, I feel you're ready to let something go and you're leaving things to the universe. You know, it's it, it's a very, very flowy energy, you know, like it is what it is and what is to come. I will be there at the right place at the right time. You know, things will happen for you if they're meant for you. OK, so it's like right now I literally see like you are, um, you know, um, no longer trying to control the outcome. Okay, but there was definitely some kind of person or something that you've been holding on to. You're releasing it. Okay, that's the overall energy for the week here. Um, right now, I see that there is probably someone who is very in and out of your life. Okay, with the Knight of Wands in reverse here. Definitely someone unreliable. But this is someone, you know, who comes in when they want to. And definitely dealing with someone non-committal. Okay. Uh, this is someone who probably comes in and goes, they get what they want and they leave. Okay. And every time they come in, looks like they give you a lot of hope, a lot of, um, you know, that extra faith that things are going to be okay this time around. The reason I'm saying this time around is because I feel that you've been in repetitive cycles with this person and what's challenging you is the three of wands in reverse here, which is like, you're fed up. You're fed up of this energy. Okay. You're fed up of this in and out, in and out, in and out, okay? Hot and cold behavior here. You're dealing with someone who's reckless, who's impulsive, okay? One second, they're so passionate about you and you're like, oh, damn, okay, like this is going on to the next level and the next the next day, they're just completely out of sight, out of mind, you know? So it's just confusing the shit out of you here. Um, there could also be another way of looking at this uh, where I feel that there is a lack of forward movement here because someone who you're dealing with, this is someone who does, the, this is someone who sees you as their passion project. Okay. You're wanting to make something committed, wanting, you know, literally like a project that is more passion, right? So you keep it there. You don't have any goals. You don't have any deadlines. This is th that kind of a person that you're dealing with. Okay, and you're fed up because you're wanting to take things to the next level from the three. You're wanting to go to the four of wands is what I'm assuming, okay? But this is someone who's almost very close to getting it with you. But you're like, you know, just waiting, waiting, waiting for nothing to happen. And now you're just sick and tired and fed up and you're waiting. Uh, you're, you're turning your back to this situation here. On your mind with the strength here, you really, really don't want to give in to this person this time around is what I'm getting. You're trying to tame the situation. You know, you're like literally trying to like, you don't want to give in this time into any kind of temptation that this person has to offer you because this is definitely someone who can, who's really very good looking, very sexy, pretty, handsome, whatever. But this person has their own charm, okay, in doing, in, in going, they have their way around with you. Okay. Now with the strength here, you definitely are holding on. You're resisting from this connection. Okay. You're trying to curb that temptation that you have for this person, but you do have a lot of attraction for them. The reason for the reading of the root of the issue is the king of pentacles. Like I said, you're wanting something stable, something secure, something committed. Okay. And the person you're dealing with is back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay. So that's what I'm getting here. Anyways, if you're waiting for this person, the Knight of Wands is anyways non-committal. In the reverse, they're very sure about running away from commitment, okay? And you're pretty much giving up on this. 
In the past with this Daria, I feel that there has been some kind of hope that you had. I'm getting more than hope and faith. I'm getting more of healing. Okay. In the near future, we have the Hierophant here. We do. Um, this is... Uh, the Hierophant is, to me, means two things. One, either you're going to stay very committed to your goals because the Hierophant is someone who uh, is very committed to what they... It's a very spiritual uh, connection or you're just learning your lessons in the near future, okay? Because with the star and the Hierophant here, right? I mean, these both are very spiritual cards here. But... Um, it definitely looks like that uh, you're learning your lessons for sure. Okay, you've healed from whatever pain this person has given you in the past year. You've healed. And with the Hierophant here, you're going to stick to being committed to what you think is right, is what I'm getting here. So what you're doing right now is the seven of cups in reverse here. So yes, this person did give you a lot of mixed signals in the past year. Okay, you were constantly very confused about where you stood in this person's life. Or this, you know, this is just uh, too much going on in your life. Okay, but I think what you're doing is now you're narrowing down your options. More than anything else, I feel you're looking at this entire situation more practically. Earlier, you were in that illusion, okay, in that wishful thinking, oh, this is going to happen with this person, that's going to happen, this is going to work out, that's going to happen. But this was all wishful thinking, okay, because this was all your wishes, your dreams, okay, you were probably daydreaming about this person. But now, because of the Hierophant here, you're learning your lessons, you know what's going through, you're holding back from this person, you're very sure about what you want. And with the three of wands in reverse here, I feel like you really want to give up on this person. You're no longer waiting for them because you could have waited forever for this person, you know, for the for your ships to come in. But now you're very clear uh, in your head about what you really want, okay? This is making a very practical decision here because in, and in your emotions with the chariot here, you're wanting to move forward. You're very, very willing and very determined to move forward. The moment you do this, the moment you do this, the four of pentacles in reverse, that's what is law of attraction says right let go detachment let go of the outcome let go of the control you know no control issues let go of the fear that's what you're doing the moment you that you do that babe queen of wands that's what you have in your environment here looks like the knight of wands in the current situation this is someone who's finally uh i'm getting i'm not getting this as two people i'm getting someone who's bossing up finally because you're letting go you're letting go of this person who's in and out. You're giving up. You're no longer waiting for something to happen. You're just like, you know what? Fuck it. If it has to happen, happen. With the star here and the temperance at the below, uh, at the bottom of the deck, right? You're letting it go. And that's when they're coming in with the queen of wands here. This is someone who wants to take action towards you. But again, keep in mind, king, queen of wands, king of pentacles here, okay? See how this is? Now, now, this is someone who's looking at you, okay? Because now they're very passionate about you, you know? You're you're um, standing in your power, you know, with the strength here. You're resisting this temptation, okay? For you, it's like, I'm not going to give in this time. And uh, you've made that brave, bold, courageous move to let go of this person. And look how they're looking at you now. But you're not looking at them this time. How sexy is that? I find that very sexy. This is... This person, the Queen of Wands, now she's so passionate about you, the way she looks at you, right? Well, keep in mind, she's now a queen, okay? So maybe this is not even a person. This is just a situation that you're moving on from because there's just like no consistency, no momentum, all right? This is a court card, but doesn't always have to be. It can be a situation also, okay? And now they're looking at you because that's who's coming in your environment that you don't see coming. And with the King of Pentacles here, this is what you're doing. This is in your subconscious, okay? They're looking at you and you're just looking away from them because your focus is probably your money, stability, security. But more than anything I'm getting is you're looking at marriage. You're looking at something long term, at commitment, okay? This person is still coming in as the queen of wands. We still look at the queen of pentacles here, okay? I mean, that would be like an app match in order for you to move things forward to the next level of commitment. But this person is now bossing up, yes. But uh, what they do want is that they want to take action finally. So if this person was very wishy-washy in the past year, they're bossing up, okay? Manning up, womaning up, whatever. I mean, but because you're walking away, they feel that vibe. I feel, they feel you moving away. They feel you detaching, you know? And this is more like with the strength here. It's like, dude, I'm not giving up. Let hell break loose. They haven't, I don't think they see this coming. They, they, they don't expect this. You're the one who's more clear about what you want. And that's when they're going to come in with the Knight of Cups here. 
This can be an apology, but this can also be someone who is, again, Knight of Cups is that non-committal energy. But again, this could definitely be someone who's wanting to express themselves emotionally, wanting to finally open up themselves to you. But again, when it comes, I mean, I'd still prefer a, 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 the Knight of Pentacles here because of what you're wanting here subconsciously. But well, so this is someone who's coming in with that passion, with that little bit of, um, with that tinge of emotions, okay? This person is, look, knights don't stay, okay? That's 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 the deal here. They don't stay and you're at the king here. So queen of wands, action-wise, yes. Passion-wise, yes. Confidence, yes. But emotional-wise, they're still going to be a little in and out, okay? They're going to come in. They're going to sweep you off your feet. You're going to be like, dude, what the hell? You know, like, I never, I, I've never seen this side of you. It's happening. It's happening. But um, just don't break your heart, okay? Because if you're hoping... The Queen of Wands is very confident, okay? She can definitely make you believe a lot of things, you know? So, yeah, I mean, that's just how she is. She's just too good with what she does. And she's very attractive. So, yeah, if someone like that is coming towards you, you definitely feel very drawn. But don't give up on the strength energy, okay? That's very strong. All right, let's con let's clarify. Clarifiers can change the entire message, okay? Keep that in mind. Love us in reverse, okay? Looks like someone's more emotionally involved than the other person here, or this is just a relationship where there's a lack of balance here. Definitely fear of commitment, like I said. Because I do see this person coming in, but when it comes to what you want, they're still not on the same page. But what I like is at least they're they're leveling up somewhere, right? Tell me about the four of pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the four of pentacles in reverse, please. Why is this here? Why is the four of pentacles in reverse here? King of Cups in reverse. You're dealing with someone, you're releasing someone who's emotionally unavailable to you. Someone who's just been uh, very emotionally manipulative or someone who just uses you, you know, emotionally blackmails you to get what they want and they leave, okay? This person is looking at you. They're watching, they're spying, okay? They're trying to get more information on what you're doing because, again, they don't believe that you have let them go because you could be giving them the cold shoulder. I'm, I'm literally getting you as... You've released them. I mean, you've just released them because what you want is not what you're getting here. And you've been waiting forever, okay, for this person to probably come back to you, correct? Tell me about the Knight of Wands in reverse. What's the Knight of Wands in reverse? Why is this here? See, Six of Pentacles in reverse. You're dealing with someone who you've given a lot to. You know, you've done your bid, Saj. You've done your bid. But you're dealing with someone who did not do their bid. Or who just didn't appreciate, you know, you for what you gave to this relationship. It was a very one-sided situation, what I'd say is. They never gave you what you deserve, you know. Whether appreciation, whether those emotions. There was a lack of that emotional investment is what I'm saying. Just lack of investment overall, okay. Maybe you were always expected to do everything in the relationship. Or you were always expected to lead the relationship. They were never leading this. Even if they were not, even if you're uh, you're a man watching this video, right? Not saying that the woman should lead it, but at least they should be at par, and that's something that you weren't seeing. That's why you chose to give up. You turned your back towards them. Um, tell me about Wheel of Fortune, Three of Swords. <laughs> Looks like there's a positive change coming in after this breakup or separation, okay? Or with the Three of Swords, you whatever stress, anxiety has caused you. It was very destined, very fated. And probably it was so that this person comes correct to you, okay? Tell me about the strength. Tell me about the strength, please. Why is the strength card here? Yeah, you're holding back from a very, very strong ass connection, okay? With a twin flame connection. Yeah, this is a twin flame connection, right? You chase, they run, they chase, you run, you know? I mean, I feel like you've turned the table, okay? And uh, their games are not working with you anymore is what I'm getting this time. You you realize what's coming towards you. You realize this pattern is being repeated. And now this time you're saying a big fat no to them. But yeah, you're definitely holding back from a connection that you feel very strongly. The lovers is also making tough choices okay so maybe you're holding back from making a decision okay you probably need to make a very logistic choice okay a very logical choice of whether you want to still stick around with this person or not or i just feel you're holding back from a connection that you feel so strongly you know with that print flame there um tell me about the hierophant why is the hierophant here the sun in reverse 
Um, so looks like uh, there has been uh, something's making you very, very upset, very sad. Now, this could we have two major arcanas here. OK, so looks like there is definitely a lack of clarity. OK, you probably want this commitment with this person. OK, and you're sticking to your guns. But because of the lack of clarity, this person is putting you, leaving you in the dark and you're just feeling very, very pessimistic in the near future about this connection. OK, you're lacking hope, lacking faith. And probably you could be dealing with someone who's very, very immature. Okay, someone who needs to do their uh, growing up for sure. Definitely someone immature with the Knight of Wands in reverse here. Someone needs to grow up, but I think with the Hierophant here, you're sticking to your guns. Okay, for you, it's like this is how it's supposed to be, and you want it the traditional way. But in the near future here, the the you're still lacking that clarity. That lack of enthusiasm is there, you know, or it's just I'm getting like you still don't have the clarity on what it is that this person wants because they're coming in as the Queen of Wands here. Um, tell me about the seven of cups in reverse three of cups in reverse here yeah you know longer you're very sure about what you want what you don't want is this person friend zoning you maybe there has been an issue that has been clear now with the seven of cups and the three of cups here <clears throat> I feel that you you thought you were very close to your ten of cups here, okay? But because this person probably, I you know what I'm getting? I'm getting this this person whenever they come into your life, you felt like the nine of cups. You felt like it was an emotional fulfillment, right? But that's like a little smug energy. But what happens is every time they leave, right? It would leave you emotionally very drained out. It would leave you very confused, you know, like what the fuck is going on? Am I in this? Am I not with this? Are we dating? Are we not dating? You know, are we dating to this next level? And this person could have been friend zoning you all the time, you know? They give you the hopes they give you everything but they just don't say the words and they keep leave you hanging and this time you're very clear that you don't want a reunion or a reconciliation with this person even if they're coming in towards you you need that time alone and that's what you want because with the world here you're closing up cycles you're closing a cycle with this person you feel you're done and dusted with this person all right that's what i'm saying because we have the chariot here you're moving on and you're very willing and determined to do it. Maybe you could have been a little indecisive, not sure if you want to move on or not, because you've been waiting, right? You've been waiting for this person to come in towards you, but you finally give up because of their player ways. Player ways does not always mean someone who's a cheater, but a player is also someone who doesn't commit, right? Or someone who uh, uh, says all the right things, but when it comes to doing it, their actions don't match with their words. Tell me about the chariot. No, tell me about the Queen of Wands. Who is this Queen of Wands in Sagittarius's environment that they don't see coming? <laughs> Fuck. See, that's exactly what my point is, right, Sag? I mean, I'd like to give you a reading that will really make you happy. That's why I kept saying again and again and again. There is this big difference out here. The Queen of Wands, yes, she's very passionate about you. She wants to be with you. She finds you very attractive, blah, blah, blah. But again, there's this element of Seven of Swords, which is cheating, lying, deception. Again, this it can go two ways. Either this is someone who's cheating on you and trying to date other people there, okay, whilst keeping you in the background, in the back burner, or... What I'm getting for most of you is this is just someone who wants that love. I mean, who wants that action, the action, who wants that uh, passion with you. They like to hang out. They're very adventurous. You know, they want to hang out with you. They want to do all the fun things. But when it comes to putting that label or when it comes to putting something serious, right, that's when they run for the hills with the seven of swords here. They just, this is just someone who just doesn't want to commit. They like their independent life. Okay. That's just how the queen of wands is. They never like to settle. Okay. They like their independent life. And babe, if you really want to be with this person, you're going to have to be something like the king of wands because they're both ha they both have independent lives, okay? You're dealing with someone who wants an independent life, who does not like to be in a commitment. And even if they are in a commitment, it's as good as they're not, okay? Because you're going to have to give them as much rope as they want. And you're the king of pentacles. You like that stability. You like to have your uh your 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 girlfriend around you like to have that partner around who you know is there for you once this person is you're dealing with is that you're always going to feel cornered you're always going to be like you know okay where are you where are you you know and this person's gonna be like dude chill, relax okay take a break i mean let me do my thing you do your thing and that's not really what you're all about but yeah they're coming in sneaky decisive uh sneaky deceptive but yeah again they're gonna be quick to run away Okay, they are going to. The moment you start talking about the same shit, it's going to be like, I mean, not same shit, but the moment you start to talk about that commitment part, they're running away. They're running away. I guess you know that, Saj, by now. 
that's why you're just i mean sticking to your guns and that's why you're so determined this time i'm feeling that energy of determination see four of pentacles in reverse here i've seen you for a lot of time with the four of pentacles upright so you could have been holding on to this person for a very long time okay probably hoping that things will get a better hoping that this person brings a lot of value to your life or one day they're gonna change okay but holding on to something does not mean that you can make them stay that's just how it is, okay? You can hold on to someone very tight and if they're not destined to be with you, they will still leave. And sometimes you just learn to let go. You know, you just learn to let go and that's when they come in. Okay? It's just how it is. That's just how I look at it, okay? The more you hold on to it, the, the, the it's like quicksand, you know? The more tightly you hold on to it, the faster it drains from your hand but they're bringing in that deceptive energy okay so yeah you need to get them talking get them talking i saw the high priestess in reverse high priestess here which means you could be giving someone the silent treatment but i'm getting someone who knows exactly what they're doing to you Sag. they know exactly what they're doing to you and they have their mouth sipped this is someone who knows more than they say okay they know exactly what they're doing to you they know exactly they've got you in that spot of where they want you okay they know you're wrapped around their fingers but you gotta get them talking okay get the truth from them and if they're not then you're doing the right thing you're doing the right thing tell me about the chariot tell me about the chariot please <sighs> you're in two minds probably okay with the two of pentacles here and the chariot here you're probably in two minds about moving on okay but more than anything because the chariot is upright right i feel you're trying to move forward okay not trying you are moving forward you're very determined to do that and you're going to do whatever it takes to move away from this person because with the two of pentacles you're trying to find a balance within the situation okay this person is probably creating a lot of balance a lot of imbalance a lot of drama in your life and by doing this you're probably going to find balance within yourself, okay? With the temperance. The temperance keeps coming in, okay? That's your card too, right? You're trying to uh, not be an extremist anymore. This time, you're trying to be more like... So you could have been someone in this relationship who was like, you know, like an extremist, you know? Either you're in or out, okay? It's like that white or black. But this time, you're trying to sail, float through that gray area, you know? Like fear of the unknown, you have it, but you're still doing it. You don't know what's happening next, but you're just going to be like, you know what? Let it be that's what you're doing and that's what you're doing you're trying to buy find a balance and in order for you to ba find the balance for you what you think best is to move forward okay and not wait for this person tell me about the nine of cups who is the nine of cups five of wands say i told you they're fuck they're they're bringing a lot of drama and chaos okay ace of wands in reverse here same shit different day again it's going to be a the, the same um indecisiveness the same old false starts it's the same like i told you with the knight of cups i picked it up already right i mean it's it's not going to be what you're expecting it to be yes if i don't see the devil card here which is a good thing i don't see this person toxic but i do see this person knowing what they're doing seven of swords that's a card of someone who knows very consciously what they're doing you know that's what my issue is and honestly Sarge, I i cannot stress enough you are doing the right thing you are doing the right thing because you're still not going to get clarity in the near future. Because again, they're going to run away. <sighs> That's heavy. That's heavy. But yeah, Knight of Cups, Five of Wands, Ace of Wands in reverse here. They will want a new start. They're coming in for that new fresh start. But babe, you're looking for someone who's looking for that electrifying experience, you know. They come in till, the, till it's nice and uh, wild and it's that yummy experience that they get they stick around the moment things start to get serious and the road gets tough that's when it all fades out and that's why you keep having this repetitive uh false starts with this person okay they have that enthusiasm etc but when it comes to give, putting in that work they lack the action so yeah whoever this person is they're coming in with that expression that emotion that uh prince charming that princess that you want you know who you've been waiting for but they're bringing in a lot of chaos okay they're going to get you in your head again with the five of wands you're again going to be fighting for this person's attention and this person's again going to put you in your head you're going to have a lot of conflicts with this person okay so think about it all right think about it that's what i have for you Saj. i hope this reading resonates with you do leave your comments below like share subscribe and i will see you next time Bye bye